prior to looking at the next example which is importing a house from CAD we're going to use the existing lot boundaries here for the next project. In order to do this we're going to share that model so we select the option models sharing share. We pick the model lot click set then finish. We're now going to create a new project and we're just going to go back up to set out and we're just going to call this one CAD house set out pick the previous configuration and click create select yes to save the current job again we'll just in this one we won't be using the setup project details click finish maximize plan view one and just pop the recalc panel down the bottom right okay the first thing we're going to do is bring in the or share the boundary from the previous project so we select models sharing add we then look for the previous project and just select the house set out folder we pick the house set out project and a list of available models will be listed so we tick on add next to lot and click add if you go to your plus button now you'll see the model there also note that it's colored blue so it's easily identifiable as a shared model so we'll just double click and you'll see your boundary. We're now going to bring in a DWG file of a house outline. We select File IO, Data Input, DWG DXF. The file will be found back under the Setout folder and you'll see house.dwg. <coughs> if you want to have a quick look at the drawing before you bring it in, you can click on the folder icon and click open and you can see the actual shape of the house back in 12D we're going to give the uh, house data a prefix so we'll just type in a prefix of DWG space the null level value will set to zero which means that any height in CAD of zero will be nulled out when it comes into 12D and we click read 12D in the getting started survey workshops is set up so that the data automatically comes on in the current view so if you zoom all of the view you'll see the house and that little red dot there is actually the boundary so what's happened is the house has come in in millimeters so we click finish now we need to get the house dimensions in turn to the lot so we're going to actually create a second view so we select view new plan in plan view one we'll just have the bound the lot turned on and if we select window tile vertical in plan view 2 we can turn on the DWG models so we'll just maximize the lot in plan view 1 so we have to do three things in order to get the house into the correct position in the lot firstly we're going to scale the house utilities A to G factor we pick everything in view 2 and we're going to give it a scale of 0.001 for both the X and the Y the origin XYZ is actually irrelevant at this stage so we can leave that uh, optional we're going to scale the text and we'll leave the data in the same model so we'll select move to original models and click factor if we zoom all of plan view 2 now and we were to check a bearing and distance along the bottom of the house it's now 20 meters 
OK, we can finish on the factor. The next thing we're going to do is rotate the house so that this edge up the top is parallel to the side boundary. Utilities, H to Z, rotate. And we again can grab everything in view 2. The rotation centre again is irrelevant and the rotation we can basically inquire on the top of the house that's 90 degrees and our side boundary is 12 degrees 1810 so let's type in 90 minus 12.1810 and it's going to be anti-clockwise the target again will be the left icon and click rotate so again we'll just inquire on the left side and you'll see that net now the bearing is 12 degrees 1810 which matches the lot okay we'll finish on those panels now the last thing we're going to do is to move the house that corner there to be 7 meters up and 1.8 in from the side so we use the option utilities H to Z translate we pick view 2 now this time we're going to move it so we click on the pick icon the first point is that point there now the second point is going to be positioned in a similar way to the way we did our first house we go to our CAD snaps point and go down to offset release drag up the string and accept we measure from the bottom left corner and accept and it's 7 meters up and 1.8 in from the side so that's then calculated the delta X and delta Y again the target is the left icon and click translate if you were to now turn on the DWG models in this view, you'll now see the house in the appropriate position. As we still have the house in its uh, original DWG prefix models, if we're going to create a set out string around the edge, it's a good idea to do this in a separate model. So we're going to create a model with the name house. We're going to give the model name house we will make the color say green and put the line style back to 1 we're going to now trace around the edge of the house using the option CAD line line string and just carefully pick on the corner point and we're just going to pick on the corners of the house make sure you get a diamond which means you've picked on a point we're now going to pick this point here So we're just going around and carefully picking the corner points. Pick down there. We can press escape. And we can close that string. So just pick until it highlights that string and accept. We could then create point numbers for those house corners similar to the previous workshop.